Welcome back to the channel. This week we're at the Chew Valley Animal Park Pizza in the Park Classic Car Meeting. It's held every Wednesday over the summer and as you can see in the background there's a great eclectic mix of cars and we're going to go for a walk round and show you what's here. Right, we're going to start off with this lovely little Mini in period brown. I'm imagining this is one from 1977 because it's got an original 90s, 1977 tax disc in it. Sorry, you're going to get my shadow in a lot of these cars tonight. The sun is really low. Now we've got a nice little E30 BMW convertible. I'm just being run over by a Mark One, or sorry, Mark Three Capri. And look at this lovely 32 Ford Roadster. Really nice. Let's have a look inside. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And there's the Capri that was making all the noise. And then we're on to this Aston Martin Vantage. I'm just going to get run over by that Capri again. And then this car will be familiar to uh, people that saw the video um, from the meeting last weekend at Carmerton or Camerton, sorry, and this is a Talbot Lotus, one of the very early rally cars or homologation special rally cars, I should say. And then we've got a lovely 2.8 injection. Look how clean this one is under the bonnet. Absolutely gorgeous. And then this uh, Robin Hood 2B might look familiar to you. And next to it, we've got a TVR. Now, I think that is a Chimera. I might be wrong. Let's have a quick look around the back. Have a look at the interior on the way. Yep, I was right, it is a Chimera. And next to it, look at this. We'll come around the front, because otherwise all you're going to get is sunshine. You don't need to tell me, or you don't, I don't need to tell you, sorry, that that is a Jaguar E-Type. Resplendent, well, it was original interior. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. And then TVR, I think this is possibly an S2 or S3. I'm not 100% sure. Next long got nice MGB GT. Very period blue car. And then nice Mark 1 Fiesta. Of course the Fiesta stopped production this year. Haven't been in production I think for something like 45, 46 years. And then we've got another MGB GT. Uh, nice Wabasco sunroof. Very popular uh, accessory back in the day. And then we've got something you don't see every day. Saab 900 convertible. 
luckily we're getting in the shade a little bit here so the uh, picture's improving and we've got a nice VW Beetle convertible yeah, bear in mind this car's nearly 20 years old then we've got an RS Turbo chap's got the bonnet open And next to it, can you guess what it is yet? Yep, it's an SLK. I think these are really undervalued cars. I've had one myself. I think they're really practical with that folding metal roof. Su supercharged engine. Now, let's have a look at this. Real bit of American muscle. Dodge. Uh, Coronet, 440 apparently. I think the roll cage safety harnesses suggest it's had a little bit more... Uh, oh, let's get some focus. A little bit more horses put under the bonnet. Then we've got into my favourite area, a Westfield SE. And I believe this has still got a crossflow engine under the uh, the hood and then tucked up in the corner here we've got an MGB Roadster but it's got a few modifications I can see straight off it's got the bubble arches on it and it's been debumpered Looks quite muscly, doesn't it? Those wide arches and uh, no bumpers. So, now we're in a little bit of shade, and I'm hoping it's going to stay there. Go, you know, Vauxhall Cavalier. When did you last see one of these on the road? And then next along, I think this is a Tuscan. TVR, of course. Wonderful, wacky um, TVR style dashboards. Then we've got a Porsche 944 Turbo. Well, I believe it's a turbo. Obviously, developed originally from the 924. And now we've got a few bits of Americana turning up. Yeah. Chevrolet Camaro. And we've got Datsun, I think, 260 or 280Z. Datsun, of course, with the previous name of Nissan. Oh, and we're starting to get into the sun, so I'm going to have to change my angle a little bit. So here we go, Vauxhall Royale, which was the competitor for the Vauxhall Granada back in the day. And then we've got Vauxhall Cresta. Again, Vauxhalls of this era were, oh, don't hate me for it, but they were known for rusting. But this one definitely looks a survivor. And then we've got another bit of Americana. Another Camaro. Z28. Then we've got a Chevrolet Corvette.
great American style interior there. And then we've got another Datsun. Another 260 or 280Z, I think there's a 260. That's all right. And then we've got a great Mark II Capri. Don't see many Mark IIs. You can tell the Mark II because it's got the big square lights. Okay. I'm going to try and do the next row, but the sun is against me, so I'm going to have to go a bit backwards. So if I fall over, I do apologise. Golf GTI, Mark one and a half, I think, convertible. Then we got its competitor. The Escort XR3i convertible. Now, for anyone that's driven um, the racing game Gran Turismo, will know this is classed as a UNOS Roadster, but of course we call it an MX-5. Then, BMW 3 Series, E30, two-door. And then, definitely a very much a coming, if not a ride classic. Audi A3, but this one is an S3. Oh, that's right. right. Very nice car. And then next to it, we'll go this way, otherwise all you'll see is sun. Is a Jaguar XKR, according to the base, an XKR 100. Not exactly sure what that means, but uh, that's what it is. And next along we've got a Morris Minor. You can tell this is one of the older ones. It's still got, look, look at this, the little slot in the uh, bumper for the starting handle. And then, I've got a wasp on my finger, excuse me. Um, now we've got a Rover P6. The V8 engine. That would have been top of the range back in the day. Now we've got a TVR. I think that's a Chimera. Shall we have a look around the back? I think it's a Chimera. And I was wrong. It's a Griffith. That's a fail for me. Oh, good. We're back in the shade again. So here we go. Original Mustang. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Look under the bonnet. Then we've got another Chevrolet. This one's a Corvette. I don't know how well you can see that. <laughs> and then next to it, one of the more modern era Mustangs. I think this must have been early 90s. Still got the original uh, pony badge on it. And then next to it we've got an MNR. I think it's a Vortex. It's got an R1 engine. 
which apparently has got about 180 brake horsepower. A car weighs about 480 kilos, so your brake horsepower per ton, 360. It's not bad, is it? And then next to it, we've got a, well, it's an XR3i, but it's got the RS turbo bonnet vents, so I wonder if this one's a bit more modified than uh, it lets on. What does it say on the back? It does call it an Escort RS Cabriolet, so I am guessing... That is a bit more modified than uh, we think. Now, this is a really rare car, and you're initially going, oh, it's an X XR3. It's not an XR3, it's an RS1600i. And this was a motorsport homologation special that Ford produced, very limited numbers on these. Parts of these for these are very difficult to get hold of. So that one's quite a rare car. Okay, let's go down the final row. Another Rover P6, 3.5 litre. Again, this would have been top of the range back in the day. And then next to it, we've got a, a Jaguar S-Type. Again, I love these cars. Very classic styling and very um, modern mechanicals. It was actually an American Ford, I think that was based on, during the period that Ford owned uh, Jaguar. And we've got a nice MGB Roadster there. Love the chrome wire wheels. And then we've got one of the newer generation Mini Coopers. Looks like it's up for a bit of serious use. It's got a roll cage in it. And then we got Austin Healey 3000 from the early 60s. And then next to it, we've got a Volkswagen Sirocco Storm. One of the, uh, I think this was top of the range for the Sirocco back in the day. Next to it, we've got a um, Vauxhall Cavalier. And then to finish off the road, another S-Type. Let's head through and have a look at the motorbikes. And this will be probably the last bit, and then you can click away at uh, something else. We've got quite a nice, nice mix here. So we'll start in the sun, which is a complete nightmare. So there's a Harley at the end. Look at the paint job on that, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detail. And then we've got a couple of Vespers next up. As I've said before on other subjects, this is not my strong suit. And then next to long, it looks like a classic, but when I walk around the back, it's a 19 plate. So this is AJS in its new incarnation. But I love those wire wheels. Then we've got an Aprilia RS4. Pretty Rossi had a really good weekend, British Grand Prix, with a win by uh, Elise Expa Alex Espargaro. I can never say his first name. And then we've got a Honda, is that an NT700? They're sort of dual sports bike. 
Then we've got another Harley. And then the Kawasaki Z900. That's a pretty bike, but I do like the one they have produced recently, the Z900 RS, which looks really nice. I think it was very much inspired by the early um, Z1 and Z900s. And we've got off-roader Kawasaki. I guess that will be a KLR of some form. It's four-stroke. And then we've got a Bonneville. And an XL500. And just to finish off, Yamaha GTS 1000. And look at that. No front forks. That's the suspension. It's like a wishbone setup. So it separates the, the steering and um, suspension forces. So something a bit unique there to finish off with. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this walk around the Chew Valley Pizza in the Park Classic Meet. It happens every Wednesday over the summer. So if you have enjoyed this one, I really hope you'll give us a like and maybe even subscribe. And we'll see you next time, probably at another car show.